Thank you for choosing us tonight at five. I'm Brian McElhat. We will get to the latest on COVID-19 in a moment, but first a turning point in a bizarre death investigation near Woodburn. ABC 21's Corinne Rose reports on a man's death, how it may not have been, how it may have been at the hands of someone else. In October last year, people walking in the woods in the 19,000 block of Dorman Road near Woodburn found skeletonized remains. The Allen County coroner called in a team of anthropologists from the University of Indianapolis to collect the remains and analyze them. In January, the remains were identified as 28-year-old Ryan Boffman, who had disappeared three years earlier. Monday, the Allen County coroner ruled that he died from multiple gunshot wounds. In their heart of hearts, they've known for a long time that, that you know, Ryan wasn't just a missing person. Um, and so this just kind of was, you know, proof that their intuition was right. Amy Davis is one of the co-founders of Java, or Justice, Accountability and Victim Advocacy, and says she met Boffman's family at his funeral. She spoke with us on their behalf. When we talked with Ryan's mother at the funeral, um, she was hopeful that they would call this a homicide eventually because, you know, if they, if it's not declared a homicide, they're not investigating actively. Boffman had three children with his girlfriend who died about a year ago. Those children are reportedly being raised by their grandmother. That's the thing that breaks my heart is the children knowing that they don't have a mom or a dad. Davis hopes the homicide ruling will set some wheels in motion for the Boffman family to begin to heal. It's kind of hard to grieve when you don't have all the answers and have that justice that you hope for. You get distracted looking for justice and you don't always grieve properly. Allen County Police declined to be interviewed, citing the ongoing investigation. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stop or the Allen County Detective Bureau. Now they've got the ruling, they can get out there and start investigating, and I hope that for this family, they can get some closure. Ryan Boffman's death is now the 30th homicide of 2019. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.